Professor Paul Mbogo is one of the pioneers of Kenyatta University. Well, despite living with disability, he is just he is a role model in the society, especially to people living with special needs. He lives beyond his disability through thick and thin. The professor has gotten his education and has made so much contributions to the society and has a lot to be proud of himself. Let's take a look. Okay. Professor Paul Mbugwa, a second born in a family of 10, was born 66 years back. Two years after his birth, he suffered poliomyelitis, an infectious viral disease that affects the central nervous system and causes temporary or permanent paralysis. Mbugwa got saved in his early 20s. He expresses gratitude to his parents for showing them the way to salvation. He went to Kijabe High School in Kabarnet and later joined Kenya Science, where he trained as a teacher. He then went to Kenyatta University for undergraduate training, and here he studied something different, plant taxonomy. He cannot afford to mention his disability condition is a challenge in his life. This is because, despite that, he has been successful in life. Um, I got married in 1986 to Elizabeth Wangui Kamau, and in 1987 we had our first born, Samson. 1988, we had our second born, David. Um, they are both working. He pursued a master's degree from the same institution and later went to the United Kingdom for his doctorate of philosophy studies. Currently, he teaches undergraduates, postgraduates, and PhD students at Kenyatta University. I mean, grandchildren are. You know. He could not hide his joy for having a good fearing family. His wife, Elizabeth Wangoi, and two sons, Samson and David. While Samson is an economist, David is an aeronautic engineer. His wife, Elizabeth, is a lecturer at Pan African University. Professor Mbugwa is a member of Sitam Church. His salvation journey is an encouragement to many. Uh, in Sitam, I've been, an, I was an elder at Vade Road. Then uh, when we started the uh, Sitam Fika Road, uh, I moved in 2009, and I've also been a, an elder there. Um, about two years ago, I was asked to be a deacon. Currently, he is a member of the Board of Association of Physical Disability of Kenya. We realize one of the problems uh, we are facing now on issues of education for persons with disabilities is that many parents have no idea what to do. And during 2012 Malaika Tribute Awards, an event that mainly celebrates outstanding talent of people with disabilities, he was awarded 100,000 shillings, an amount that he later deposited to a special account to support people living with special needs. Nancy Ochido, KUTV.